Welcome back, 923 on your Sunday morning. First rock, then country, and this weekend it was soul. But next weekend, some great performers will have tri staters singing the blues. Joining us are blues musicians Bob Herman and Leo Clark to talk about the Cincinnati Blues Festival. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thank you. Always great to be with blues musicians, and I apologize for the hour. I know it's not your normal time to be up and bright eyed, but although you get up early, you said. Uh, so, talk about the Cincinnati Blues Fest, just a great event. Yeah, it's the 22nd annual Blues Fest. We have three stages going on, and there'll be a bunch of acts from all over the world, all over town, some local acts, national acts, and some international as well. How did Cincinnati get hooked into the blues so well? We had the Blue Wisp for so long, great musicians came there all the time. Well, where, where does the, uh, the origination for that come from? I think it comes from migration from the south, where the early field workers had moved north and settled in places like Cincinnati and Chicago and Detroit and brought their music with them. I see. And you, anything to add to that? Look like Well, uh, I know that there was a record label here. I think it was King Records. Oh, right. James Brown sang yeah, on that, right? So he had that he re re um, what was the hit? Uh, I can't remember the hit. He, I he Feel Good. I Feel Good. Yeah, that yeah. was it. So there was a culture there here of recording before Nashville basically became a big you know, recording mecca. So mm -hmm. um, I think Cincinnati has some history with recorded music and some record labels that are on now, so. Well, you guys got some history with the blues. You've been doing it all your lives, and you're part of a band called Juice and uh, some other bands too. And you do solo work as well as other bands. We got uh, some video from years past at the Cincy Blues Fest, and you're going up to Dayton today to compete in something that might lead you to Memphis. Yeah, the Road to Memphis Challenge in Dayton. There's going to be, I think, 11 bands that'll be competing today to go down to the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee. It's Huge exciting. Event. Yeah, I know you've done well in that in previous years. Uh, what are some of the highlights that you'd like to see in the Blues Fest this year, the, the bands that will be playing that you really like? Well, we have Guy Forsyth uh, headlining. He's a national act. We've got several of our marquee local musicians on a local stage. There's, what, five stages, I believe, 35 acts uh, over two days. So, you know, um, the one day pass is fifteen dollars, two for twenty. So, it's a great it's a great time. The weather should be great, and we I've had a great time every time we're there. So, uh, great music. Well, we're going to look forward to it. Thank you guys so much for coming in and Thanks talking for to us. us. Thank you. you bet. The Cincinnati Blues Fest kicks off next Friday at Sawyer Point, and it runs through Saturday. For a complete schedule of performers and to buy tickets, just go to the On TV tab at WLWT.